This week I modified my inventory system so I can use objects or open doors with it. And I also made a bunch of logic puzzles which are needed to complete the game. But first, as you can see, when the killer hits you, it's not that cool, so I added this blood effect by 1up indie, so let's write him in the game's credits. Let's add it to the scene, and as you can see it's quite big. <laughs> so let's make it smaller. Then I made it transparent with a website I found on Google. So let's program it so when the killer catches us, this blood effect will display for a few seconds. We will make a one second timer and if it gets less than zero, then we make it invisible again and we reset the timer. As you can see it looks much better, but let's make the effect last a little bit longer. And also let's reactivate these effects here. Feels so good to be sliced by him. But the effect just suddenly appears and disappears, so let's make an animation so it doesn't look that bad. So it appears just as it was before, but then it becomes big and then it becomes invisible. Let's delete this script here and instead play the animation. And now it has this cool animation. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to the channel. You can also support it on Patreon for early access to videos and games. Ok, so now comes the technical part. As you can see there is nothing in my inventory and this door is locked. But if I pick up this green key here, then I can go here and use it on the door. And now I can enter it. So cool, right? Yeah, it's not that cool, but anyway. I'll try to explain how it works. So here's my inventory. I have this use button here. It emits a signal called use and my global script gets the signal. And I also check if the player is inside the use area, which is an area where I can use an item basically. So if it's not there, then I set back this use ID to minus 1, and no item has a minus 20 ID, so I know it's empty. When I get the signal, I set the use ID to this ID I get with the signal, which basically tells which item I used. Here's my use tracker, it's an area 3D. It has an ID needed and the destruct this variable which destructs an object, in this case a blocker, which blocks the player from entering the room. If the player is inside then the use ID is equal to the ID needed, then I set back the use ID to minus 1 and I delete the item from the inventory, then I destruct the destruct this variable. Some of you commented that uh, I should attach the weapon to his hand bone, so I did just that. Thanks for the detailed explanation on how to do this. Oh, I fell out of the world. So anyway, the animation now works perfectly. Then I had to make a bunch of new items, so here's this small key which opens the cabinet. Its ID is 2. And as you can see I pick it up, then I go here and use the item on the cabinet. And there's a bandage inside, which I didn't program yet, but anyway, I can check this item here on my cello board. Yeah, there's still a few things to do. Ok, so now I have 1 HP out of 3. So I pick up this bandage and I can use it to heal myself, which wasn't programmed yet. But anyway, I can check it out here. Oh, it's already checked out. Why? It wasn't even programmed. Ok, it doesn't matter. It's checked now. Then I made this magnet in Blender. Yeah, it's a magnet. I know it looks like shit, but it's a magnet. You need this for a logic puzzle in the game. 
As you can see, if I pick it up, you can see this sprite in the inventory. I won't spoil the logic puzzle because then the game wouldn't be interesting, but yeah, let's check this magnet on my trillo board. I also made this screwdriver, which will be another item you can use. So let's save it in my items folder, then I basically screenshot it, and I use this free website to remove the background. It will be needed for the icon in the inventory. After I remove the background, I put it in my image editor, I use paint.net by the way. I adjust it a little and then I scale it down to a really low resolution, so I can use it for my inventory. Here's how the model looks in game. And if I want to make it an item, then I can just make a new item, name it screwdriver. And I can assign its properties, like the icon which it displays in the inventory, an ID, this will be for, and the name. Remember when I said that I won't spoil the logic puzzle? Well, I lied, so here's how it looks. I use this magnet here, which pulls out the screwdriver from the bed tub. I also started working on the Steam page for the game, but it's a really long process for everything to get validated. But the page will be up soon and you can wishlist it, so stay tuned. Bye.